Hey there guys and welcome to Abhijin's SketchUp Workshop. In today's episode we're going to finish up decorating our ancient Greek ruin. So the decorations will be as follows. So let's take a look here and let's see what we did so far. So we made the Greek ruin proper, looks lovely I think, and we added some vegetation. So wines and bushes. Let's see, in the previous two videos it's been a blast, but now we have to add some finishing touches. And what would be a Greek ruin without, well, a Greek vase and a Greek shield? So let's start off with the shield. First, of course, we have to put down a round shape, because that's what shields are shaped like most of the time. <laughs> okay, just kidding. So. Let's give it a go here. So once you have drawn a circle like this, just split it in two parts evenly. Uh, you can follow the lines. Usually the end point here and here will suffice. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, click on this two point. First, before that, of course, uh, let's go to the center and raise the middle of the shield like this. So this little line will be our center and let's lift it up Ta -da. now once we have done that we will use the follow me tool to force this shape all around there nice and smooth there we go now we have a shield now i would like it to be a bit deeper so we're going to do this there we go now we have the basic shield shape Let's turn it into a groove and let's view it. Perfect. So, now, let's decorate the shield. Let's paint this. So, as always, we press the G button. Or, actually, we... Uh, so, the G button is the shortcut for me. But, basically, uh, it is show hidden geometry. So, let's give it a go. And, let's see. We select this and let's find some proper colors for this shield. So as we are uh, as we are going to use the textures support supplied to us very kindly by SketchUp itself, it's going to be a bit simplistic. So first let's say a darker rim. Okay, very good. So we have a darker rim for our shield. And now the rest will be a lighter color. Very nice. So, now let's talk a little bit about decoration. So, for this shield, I would like to decorate it with a two headed snake. It's going to be, well, I hope it's going to end up being the simplest decoration possible. <laughs> Again, I stress, I hope. So, here is our snake's head. And we just copy some of these lines to make it easier. So once we copy the lines we'll know just how to follow the rest. So give me an image second here. Great. And let's just extend this here. Okay. So this looks alright. Now let's give this a more snaky shape to the head. Okay. So these stylized lines are making it a bit more difficult. We'll keep the head as it is right now. And let's finish up the line by cutting the snake somewhere here. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> the snake's been cut in half. Very heroic of us. So now we have one half of the snake, which we're going to just stylize a bit more. So you can, of course, choose any beast you want as your shield emblem, but I think the snake is kinda the most intimidating and probably neutral one. Okay, so let's copy this, move it aside, just like in the last project, and now we have it. We have the two-headed snake with a little bit of decoration. It ends up like this. So we explode it, 
And what we do now is create a very, very sort of tall protrusion. So we're going to keep it as a 3D model. And let's move this aside. And let's see. So this is the snake, which we're going to put here uh, next to the shield. So let's try to pull the snake into the middle of the shield. All right. Now, as the snake is in the middle of the shield, we will go to Intersect Faces with Context. And we're going to receive this. Ta-da! The snake has been painted upon the shield. Huzzah! So, looks pretty cool. Nice. I'm glad it turned out so well. So, let's see which color would be the most fitting for the snake. I will just keep it a dark gray color. So we'll copy the shield over here, bye bye, and we'll put the shield next to the ruin. Okay. Now, of course, the shield might be a bit too, let's say, uh, too large for the ruin itself. It's kind of, it's supposed to be a shield, and it's supposed to be a large hoplite shield, which we're usually quite l quite bigger than other shields, but still not bigger than a column. Okay, there we go. And a few more adjustments would be needed, so maybe like uh, adjust this to meet this line, for example. So that's going to take a bit of tweaking, and voila, there we go. The shield has been added to the ruin. So, I really like it turned out better than expected. <laughs> so, trial and error, trial and error. So that was the shield. Thank you very much. You served your purpose, Mr. Shield. Now, the next part is pottery. So let's create ourselves a little workspace. Now, pottery, uh, for this episode, we'll focus on low poly pottery. So it's going to be and uh, let's say an hexagonal shape, nothing too fancy. So the best way to create it is again using the follow me tool. So let's create this shape and let's see what sort of pottery we can make with this. Hmm, maybe we can turn it into a bit of a round one, eh? And then going back like this. And also, um, we'll do it like, we'll do a bit of this. So you'll see why. Now after we delete all of these lines, here and here, we'll sh we're supposed to be left with a shape like a toilet seat. Oh, cool. So, let's see here. Let's just follow this nice and smooth, and voila, we got ourselves a little piece of pottery. So, we will not decorate it too much, especially since it's a ruin, it's supposed to be, I don't know, broken. So, let's give it a go here, and of course a very black color, a very dark color, should be going in... Mm, colors named, should be going in the mm, center of the pot, like here. There we go. So now we have a pot, we turn off the geometry, and we have it. So let's place it. Ta-da! Alright. So, of course, you can recolor the pot, shape it any way you, any way you like. And the most cool, the most interesting thing is that you can change its shape substantially to make it look like a completely different sort of vase or if you want to edit it a bit further excuse me uh, you could make the mouth of the pot bigger extend it a little bit you know to make it suit your own need so we're just gonna put this one here and make it smaller so there we go the Greek ruin, the Greek temple ruin, has now been fully decorated with a discarded uh, hoplite shield, some pottery, 
vines, plants, everything that you would expect from a forlorn Greek temple ruin. Thank you very much for uh, watching this three-part series. I hope it helped you and I hope to see your own creations very soon. So thank you very much. Don't forget to comment or subscribe for more content. See you next time and have a lovely day. Thank you.